Hello everybody, it's Mighty Foxy, and we're back with more Cloud Chamber. So, uh, I had to restart the game because it had a resolution error and crashed on me, but, uh, I noticed I missed one of these. <laughs> Where we live, uh, the Earth, and uh, the magnetic field is very important, because yeah. the scientists uh, compare uh, what happens to Mars, for example. Mars had an atmosphere, probably. There is still some trace of atmosphere. Mars, uh, Discussing the Mars. Field. There is still the trace of the crystal field. But the magnetic field disappears on Mars. And then there is uh, some uh, hypothesis from the scientific community that the magnetic uh, atmosphere, the atmosphere has been blown up by the solar winds. The completion of the first flight unit of the Swarm Satellite huh. Trio in Friedrichshafen represents a milestone in ESA's mission to explore the okay. Earth's geomagnetic field. ESA scientists and oh. researchers eagerly await the launch oh. of the trio of satellites from Plesetsk, Russia, on a rocket launcher during 2012. Where we live? <sighs> Would it be possible that the signal may be some type of interference? Interference from space interacting with the radio sphere? The radio waves in the atmosphere. <laughs> ah, sorry, guys, I can't spell tonight. Atmosphere similar to the effects of of radiation creating creating the auroras. Auroras. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Yes. Yes. For those who don't know, a lot of our radio frequencies are ran off of the Earth's magnetic field. Huh. It intrigues me immensely. Alright, back to part four, my friends. Hopefully this time it does a resolution error on me. <laughs> I love this game immensely. Since I know the director of this is watching <laughs> watches these videos, I want to say again, man, kudos, kudos immensely. Hello, everyone. It's Mighty Foxy, and we're here with Cloud Chamber again. Sorry about the double repeating my intro. The game kind of had a resolution error. Let's go and start this over real quick so I can analyze it properly. Get my ears up. <laughs> look, look, the Institute sound guards are crap. But this, this jumps the sonic capabilities of the computer getting me a purer sound. And did you get clearance to do that? Didn't know I needed it. Right. Okay. Uh huh. He's using a sound amplifier. Work, so. Yeah, he and I need to have a talk. Hey, he's a DJ, Max. Yeah. We all should have one. I'd be up for making it. signal it's comes it's through. Rather high pitched. High pitched and scrambles and the scrambles the film. I love your uh, together track, man. Now, this completely unique sound that nobody's ever heard before, except for me. And the institute. I love your uh, together track, man. Now, listen to. Need to have a talk. Hey, he's a DJ. Man. At like 24 yeah. seconds. We all should have one. I'll be up for making them. Listen, it's getting me completely unique. So at like 24 seconds before, in. Except for me. And the institute. I love your uh, together track, man. I have an exceptionally good so hearing, guys. <laughs> Do you know each other? Yeah. Well, no, just from the shows. He's, uh, mm. he's very famous in the electronic music scene. Nah, I wouldn't say famous yet. Yeah. I've got a show tonight. Here. Come as my guests. Oh, cool. Thanks. Huh. I find it interesting. <laughs> it's interesting to me. Apology for me offending you. A yeah. musician. Thank you. I'll check with my dad. Huh. What? Well, That's actually. No, of course. Thank you. Alright, so we're at 103. That's an uh, interesting effect. At 103, we see a split in the double exposure film again. Exposure film again. Seeming to be either a re recording, recording, or somehow this camera is picking up 
on two realities. Similar to the to the coin flip reality paradox. I.e. flip a coin, flip a coin, in one reality it's heads, in another it's tails. In this reality she refused, refused the invite at first, then eventually took it. Hmm. Thank you. I'll check with my dad. Also, an adult who has to check with her father? Also, huh. She seems to care quite a, quite a bit about keeping her father, Gustav, happy. Rather odd for a fully grown, grown woman trying to make her, to make her own name. I mean, granted, sure, there are what? family aspects. Well, you need your dad's permission. No, of course not. I'm just very, very busy doing my job. But if you're busy doing your job... Hmm. Ah. Let's see what we got here. 120. Then at 120... We have Gustav. We have... Another double, double exposure slash reality split involving Gustav. I will say, director, this is freaking amazing. I don't want to be filmed. Uh, I need to talk to you. Huh. Meeting a king or something. Do you think the uh, princess will come tonight? Huh. It felt like I kept defending her. Yeah. Definitely. I would uh, talk less next time. See you later. And he dragged just Kathleen away. Well, Waiting for some secret meeting. Secretive meeting. Hmm. It's my Maxbox. Sir. Audio interface. <laughs> it's a Max box. Interesting. Let's see what do I got. Uh, noise from space. All right, maybe I was right about it being t actually Titan, Jupiter's moon. Let's see what we got. Church Mullingrad. Church Mug. All right, this is that invitation. Friday. Huh. I feel like I'm looking for something never there. Have no fear. It looks like a baseball cap, but it also looks like a one eyed duck. Huh. That was a Tuesday. Not a Friday. Also. Also, does that baseball, does that hat, that cap, seem more like a eyeball with a bill? An eye, an eyeball with a duck bill? To anyone? Or maybe the other way, the other way around. Around. <laughs> also, have no fear. What does someone have have to fear from a simple concept? Maybe it's act. It is actually some type of meeting or something. Hmm. Whoops. Intriguing, intriguing, my friends. The plot is thickening. Oh, wait, I... What is that? Volume... Let's see... Analyze... 
analyze the picture, analyze the picture. I'm not seeing anything particularly of note in the picture other than this thing just seems to really stand out for me. Really stand out. Huh. <sighs> Uh, let's see. Huh. I gotta mention that. It just stands out so much to me. It may not mean anything, though to the right of the bill, if you zoom in, there is a brown vertical rectangle rectangle that seems to have a key or something in it. Maybe just a print error? Error? I don't know. The little things seem to matter. Or it's, it's a red herring. Herring for people, people ate anal enough, like, <laughs> anal enough to examine the whole image whole image hmm. Hmm. oh we got a split again okay where does this split off to whoa all right we're gonna sit here for a second and uh jump into this platform frustration Oh, great, it's a scribble. It's a scribble. Uh huh. William Bird, Virgo, Dizinish, The Matrix K3, K28. Is von Ludwig, Ludwig von Beethoven. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oh, they're. William Byrd, okay, there. Yeah. Anton Weeborn. Schlotman, Schobenberg, fuck. John Cage, 22, daughter of the Lonesome Army. Lonesome 2, Benig Brodock, Hungarian Fausto. Ben Webster, soon lost it. Chet fucking Baker. A fucking fucking Valentine. Fuck this shit. The Beatles. Led Zeppelin. David Bowie. The Who. Yeah. Huh. Oh, wait. W. N. D. A. L. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe it's not entirely a... <coughs> <coughs> hmm. We have the weird eye duck again, as well as numerous, numerous musical references, both modern, modern and classical. Musical. I'm going to write the... Hmm... I think this has some, something to do with music. Though, I'm not putting... it out of my mind to think there may be a code hidden within the names of the bands listed. Like, using the capital letters? Capitals capitals and forming an anagram. <sighs> Though I, I could be overthinking it. Be overthinking it. Also, what's this? Hungarian folk song. Something here. Crap. Didn't mean to hit enter. I meant to hit edit. Uh, 
Okay. Also, Hungarian... Hungarian folk song... songs... has an arrow point, pointing to it, stating something... something here. The what? Then a dash related to Charlie Poikol and Star Eyes. Huh. Ellen Riggs. And now, anyone who's done audio and video, you know what I mean, can tell that looks like a sound wave. Looks like almost the same sound part. No, those are different sound waves. Huh. Also, th those sh sh those alternating alternating bars look like a sound profile to me. A sound profile well, to me. Sound editing. Uh. So the bottom one, one that isn't circled, seems to be being eaten by some type of animal or monster. I am not... I can't quite be sure. <sighs> Though I would, I would suspect those two sound waves are pieces of the signal. Okay. Alright guys, we're gonna call it here. Make sure to leave a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back soon.